Hello everybody, it's Mrs. Pound and we are studying chapter 19 on ecology from BJU Biology's fourth edition. Today we're starting section 19c on man in the biosphere and we're going to focus on section 19.5 man's ecological niche. So our objectives today are to describe man's role in the biosphere as both consumer and manager and give examples of man's abuse of his role as consumer manager. So humanity's God-ordained niche in the biosphere is as a consumer manager, and this is biblical because we were given dominion over everything. Now, dominion does not mean that we can just do whatever we want. It means that we are caretakers of the earth, and it does not mean, as uh, many people would have you believe today, that humans are a virus on the earth or a cancer that we are just destroying everything and we should be reducing our population and all of that so that we do not destroy the earth we are consumers the earth was made for us by god so that we could survive but we also have to manage those resources and not abuse them so as a manager, man's role in having dominion in which he changes the environment to better meet his needs. So an example might be that uh, when in the early years of North America, there were native populations that did hunt bison and their populations were very small. So they pretty much could just hunt the bison to live off of it and sustain themselves. And it was manageable. And there were no issues however and that is man as a consumer as well so however when europeans started coming over and migrating they were killing too many bison so that the population became very rural they were not very good managers they were just killing as many as they wanted without regards for the bison being able to replenish themselves. And so there were very few bison left and they were on reserves. And today, we the bison have come back and are starting to come back, um, but they still are not as numerous as they were because they need to be better managed. Also, uh, as far as that is concerned, uh, trees. Uh, the trees in North America, when Europeans started coming over, they saw all the trees and they just started cutting them down because they thought, well, we'll never run out of all these trees. There are so many. But after a while, there was a lot of deforestation and it was very destructive to the environment. So now we have better management. We don't just go and clear cut an area. We are very particular about how we cut down the trees so that we can manage the environment. The same thing goes with hunting and fishing and other areas as well. Through basically trial and error and mistakes that we've made in the past, we've discovered that we have to manage these things. People cannot go out and just get as many fish as they want. We have to limit the number, whether it's commercial fishing or recreational fishing. That is why people have to, in this area, apply for deer permits and deer licenses, things like that, so that they can go hunting, but they are only allowed a certain limit so that we don't deplete our environment. And we also have laws now about the management of our environment because there was also a lot of pollution and a lot of this uh, can also come from greed okay there are industries that come in and they want to make money and maybe at first they didn't realize that they were doing anything to the environment and that it was bad but after a while uh, there was pollution in rivers and different places, and it was obvious that there was an issue. And um, because money was involved, they didn't necessarily want to clean up the problem or change their ways, but we've had to to better manage our environment. We also have to take a look as consumer managers when we want to put a dam in. How is it affecting the environment? Because the thing is, a lot of times, we have to look very deep and consider all the possibilities when we are uh, 
doing anything with altering the environment because down the road it may affect us as well more than we think it was going to so as our jobs we do have to in the ecosystem we have to be good managers because god provided us with the gift of the earth but we can't just do whatever we want with it now another thing the way we have mismanaged our the earth is through invasive species this is an organism that when introduced to an area outside its original range becomes a nuisance due to excessive growth or reproduction in the background it is an asian longhorn beetle and this is a beetle that bores holes into trees many different kinds of hardwoods and will kill them and Invasive species, sometimes we have brought them over inadvertently and in that they were brought over here, say, in wood or timber, and they just hitched a ride and came over and then have spread. That's why we have to be very careful sometimes when transporting natural products between different countries that we do not bring in an invasive species of some kind. In other cases, it's because we have brought something in, like a plant that we thought was really nice and pretty, and then we bring it in and release it, and it spreads everywhere because with these invasive species, there are not the limiting factors here that they would have in their regular environment to control their population. So instead of the population leveling off, it just continues that exponential growth. So we have to be very careful with invasive species. And some common invasive species maybe that you know of are multiflora rose in this area. I've talked about before there is also, European starlings have been here for a very long time. Uh, maybe you've heard of the rabbit problem in Australia. They are an invasive species there. Uh, so there are many examples of invasive species, but again, this is uh, an area where we have mismanaged. And finally, there's the issue of pantheism. This is the worship of the universe and its phenomena as a god. So this is saying that the earth and everything on it is part of God, basically. And by harming anything, we are uh, basically harming God. And so you can't do that. And some of these ideas... Um, are also behind the animal rights movement. And so, again, animals are something that we have to manage because in the Bible, animals are not given the same... Uh, humans are given, um, are more important than animals, okay, uh, according to God. But again, it's a resource that we are meant to manage, not abuse. So we have to be careful with animals as well. And so uh, f as far as animal rights go, yes, I think that there should maybe be some laws or rules about what would be misuse of animals, but they shouldn't be put at the same level as humans as many people would like to put them. So, and those ideas are behind pantheism. So our objectives today were to describe man's role in the biosphere as both consumer and manager and give examples of man's abuse of his role as consumer manager. So don't forget your five questions in your notes and Keep watching this video to answer the questions at the end.